You've probably seen it, even if you don't know the name. It has these tiny clusters of flowers. You might see it growing on the roadside. Lantana has a pretty villainous reputation in forest areas, and that's because of how fast it spreads and how quickly it takes over the entire place. It's considered an invasive species, uh, which means it is a plant that enters a landscape through human intervention, and then it begins to take over the entire area and competes with native plants for sunlight, water, soil nutrients, and gradually but definitely pushes them all out. So, for instance, we know that a pastor took a potted uh, lantana to his garden in Kurg, and then um, he liked it very much and tended over it carefully. And somehow, it gradually crept out of his garden. People have literally taken an axe to lantana. They've tried cutting it down, but these thickets are very difficult to cut down because they're thorny and they are also in very dense tangles. So these NGOs have been working with communities for a while and then they thought why not convert this painful plant into something useful that people can sell and make a livelihood out of. Biologists have been talking about is this idea of a novel ecosystem that we might be seeing the emergence of new kinds of ecosystems that is new associations between plants and animals that have historically not been there before and it seems that our battle with this invasive species will continue for some time to come oh yes uh, lantana is here to stay and we will need to use as many different strategies as we can to probably control it Head to Radio Azim Premji University on YouTube and dive into the wonders of our nation. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stay curious.